it was just a very special day. Kim Onda Atkinson found herself drawn to a woman she's never met or known. It all started when she noticed this plaque while attending nursing school at Scranton State General Hospital. And she was always stuck in my mind. The woman pictured on the plaque is Second Lieutenant Carol Ann Drosba of Dunmore, a former nursing student at Scranton State. Kim's nursing instructor, Ann Doman, just happened to be Carol's best friend. And so we did a lot of things together that girls would normally do. After Carol graduated from nursing school, she boarded a ship in 1965 to volunteer as a nurse in the Vietnam War. The 22-year-old worked from this field hospital, treating and saving injured soldiers. She inspired to be a good nurse and she wanted to get married. <laughs> but Carol would never get that chance. In February 1966, after a long shift, she boarded a helicopter with six others. It crashed and burned for reasons still unknown. Nobody survived, including the pilot and another nurse, Elizabeth Jones, who were set to get married and had the wedding dress on board. Unfortunately, it wasn't recognized as being killed in battle and they didn't get any recognition or Purple Hearts. Carol's remains returned home in a plain wooden box. Where was the flag? Where was the honor? Where was the dignity? Eventually, Carol would be properly recognized. In 2014, this bridge in Carol's hometown of Dunmore was named in her honor. Two years before that, Kim led efforts to build this memorial outside the Gino Murley Veterans Center, where Scranton State General Hospital once stood. Every time I go by the area, there's someone sitting on the bench. We had a lot of Vietnam veterans just sit there and contemplate. Johnny Williams is one of the men Carol saved in Vietnam. For decades, he sent flowers to be placed at Carol's grave. He called her his angel, and he still calls her his angel. Carol is buried along with her parents in the Scranton Cemetery. She would be 76 years old today. If alive, loved ones believe she would still be helping others. I think that she would be doing it in some capacity. And still clutches on to these letters Carol sent during her seven months in Vietnam. A promising friendship left unexpectedly unwritten. And Kim, the once curious stranger, vows Carol's legacy will live on. She won't be forgotten, not in this area. In Scranton, Brianna Strunk, Eyewitness News.